I absolutely love it when my top waiver claim of the week is also on your start list. And that's what we've got here with Logan Thomas of the Washington Commanders. Maybe I'm chasing the points a little bit here because he had a huge game last week, but the matchup's right against Atlanta. I mean, look at their defense has allowed four tight ends to score more than 12 fantasy points, including Sam Laporta, who beat him for over 22. The matchup's right. The volume in terms of the targets is right. I'm starting Logan Thomas if I picked him up off the waiver wire based on, of course, Jen's advice. And then I'm going to start Zach Ertz. And I know Zach Ertz has a very low ceiling, but his floor is pretty good. It's around 8 to 10 points per week. He's getting the targets. He's playing a lot of snaps. The Rams got beat up by Dallas Goddard last week, who, oh, by the way, was his former teammate in Philadelphia. So Zach Ertz is a low-end tight end one for people who need help. And a lot of people do need help at tight end. And then you talked about chasing the points with Logan Thomas. I don't think you are. I think he's set up for success fairly long term. He's actually the tight end nine on this season, having only played four games. But Dalton Schultz is one you say, don't chase the points. I was wrong about him last week. He had a good game. The week before, he had a good game. So I think this is going to come crashing down uh, for Dalton Schultz this week against the Saints. Their defense has been very tough against the tight end position. They haven't allowed a, a player to score more than 10.9 points in a game against them. And overall, they've given up the fewest points to tight end. So keep that in mind when you're deciding to start or sit Dalton Schultz. And then I'm going to sit David Njoku. I can't think of one Cleveland Brown that I had confidence playing this week. Not one. Not the quarterback, not any of the running backs or the wide receivers, not one, not even Amari Cooper, and certainly not David Njoku. Uh, the Niners defense has allowed just one touchdown and the eighth fewest fantasy points at tight ends this season. Uh, you may want to look elsewhere for fantasy production than Cleveland. Not a great matchup against the Niners.